Hey guys, it's Brittany. Um, this is my first video review, so I'm kind of nervous. I am going to be doing this video review on the book Wither by Lauren De Stefano. I won the ARC from Lauren's Crammed Bookshelf. So thank you, Lauren. I was really excited about it because this book looks sounded amazing and looks amazing, and it ended up being awesome. So I'm really excited that I won it, and it's awesome. It comes out in March. Everybody should check it out. I'm just going to read the back description. So in case you don't know what Wither is about, you'll know what I'm talking about. In the not-too-distant future, because of genetic engineering, every human is a ticking time bomb. Males only live to age 25, and females only live to age 20. To keep the population from dying out, girls are kidnapped and sold into polygamous marriages. When old Ryan is taken, she enters a world of wealth and privilege that both entices and terrifies her. She has everything she ever wanted, except freedom. With the help of Gabriel, a servant Ryan is growing dangerously attracted to, Ryan attempts to escape before it's fought. But before it, before it's too late. Yeah. So the book sounded amazing and looks amazing. I love this cover. Love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful. It's awesome. And um, it, I love dystopian future novels. I don't know why. Um, kind of terrify me, but intrigue me at the same time. And I love interesting or different concepts for books, which this is definitely definitely an interesting and different concept. Um, basically they found a cure to cancer and other diseases that were causing people to die and but the drawback of this cure which they did not find out until the second generation of already finding the cure for cancer was that they d people die so young um, you know men 25 women 21 20 and um, it just it really had me thinking about how um, we are always messing with science and we're always trying to find the cure. We're trying to live longer, you know, just think about like the beauty creams, removing wrinkles, like liposuction and Botox, you know, you want to be young forever. And, but really it's, I, I don't know. I just feel like we shouldn't mess with science because nature needs to take its course and mess with science. Stuff like this happens, people. Lauren Stefano is warning us. But, um, it's really different and interesting. I really liked it. And I love the characters. Um, usually it's hard for me to relate to minor characters in books, but De Stefano did an amazing job with the, um, sister wives that Ryan is married with to the, um, her husband. Um, their names are Jenna, who is, turns 19, and um, Cecily, who turns 14 in the book. And there is also Rose, who was their husband's first wife. And at first she was the only wife. And she was sick whenever, the, you know, Jenna, Cecily, and Ryan were kidnapped to become his, um, his other wives because Rose was dying. That's the first wife. And... Um, each of the characters kind of had flaws, you know, because they were, they were real people, it seemed like. But I could understand the reasoning behind almost everybody's decisions or choices, which is awesome. Um, it's, you know, it, it's a scary world whenever you, you know when you're going to die and you, there's nothing you can do about it because there's this virus that as soon as you turn 20, if you're a girl, and 25 if you're a boy, that you're dead you're killed and um it's i didn't know how well this the world in the book would work out but Lauren de stefano did an amazing job i wish that we could see more of what the city life was like for this world that's so young except for the first generations who are still alive because you know they found the cure for cancer and they're living long time and they're old and then there's all these their children and their children's children who are dying so young and um yeah and but it's the first in the trilogy it's the chemical garden trilogy so you know we still have a lot to learn about the world or the united states in this book and 
But yeah, it's really interesting. Another thing I liked about this book was that Vine, the main character, she was so interested in wanting to travel and go and see what was outside of here. What was, you know, like, was there, you know, she was told that the rest of the world was destroyed. You know, that there's nothing left because the United States had the best technology and survived World War World War Three, and, you know, basically, like, Europe and Asia and Africa, there's nothing there. And she was always interested and in, she wanted to know. She was like, you know what, I I just, I don't, I want to get out of here. She felt trapped, she wanted freedom, which is understandable for any 16-year-old. And um, with her world, she was trapped into a marriage that she had no choice in. She was kidnapped and, you know, she was all, she missed her twin brother and, named Rowan. And um, yeah, the book is amazing. I don't want to give anything away, what, I, what I've been talking about when you learn pretty early on in the book. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. I suggest it to people who love dystopian future novels and YA books. Um, it reminded me of The Handmaid's Tale, which I love. It's um, with Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Check it out if you haven't read it. And yeah, um, I'm reading Delirium right now, so I guess I'm on a dystopian future kick. But yeah, so far, if you. Just Delirium will be coming out February 1st. If you end up liking that, you would love Wither as well. So, yeah, that's my review. Um, let me know if you've read it so far and you've liked it or disliked it. And let me know if you're excited about reading it. And I hope you all are doing well. Bye.